This most recent incident has created yet another crisis in the rocky relationship between Washington and Islamabad. Pakistani security officials claim that, quote, American spies acting without sanction or provocation hijacked a merchant vessel heading for the port of Karachi. Pakistan has already closed down NATO supply lines into Afghanistan and have once again demanded an end to U.S. drone operations. U.S. diplomats decline to appear on our program and claim to have no knowledge of the events. But the American embassy in Islamabad has issued a recommendation for all non-essential Americans to leave the country. Yeah, of course, Pakistan will be pissed off. Seeing the same thing I am. I'm seeing it. I'm not sure I believe it. This op's too important to leave up to a bunch of frogmen. Yeah, well, last time I checked, there's no handicap parking at the DZ. Well, hey, it's good to have you back on the team. Just like old times, right? You still good to be on the team, man? Shit. We're gonna make this right, brother. It's the last thing I do. We're gonna make this right. Yeah. All right, ladies, get your gear on. Get one shot at this before the ISI crashes the party. Hop, hop, in 50 minutes. You may be missing a leg, but you still got spirit. Got a lot of operators here. If things go shit, bird, dude, you lose a lot of freaking training right here. Millions and millions of dollars worth of training. Holy fuck, that's low to the ground. Definitely a fucking halo jump. Dude, you're about to lose more than a foot in a second. You are one unlucky son of a bitch. I don't remember you two jumping together. Just keeping things interesting. We're behind schedule. Stop, you and Dusty on Overwatch. Preacher, you're back with us. Have a good one. We got your six. Shit, man, what would happen if I opened my shoot earlier, huh? Like everyone else did. I'd like to say he got better. On single. Yeah, this ain't a 416. It has a single, uh, it has a single lock. It has a single lock on the, uh, on the, uh, carrier assembly pole right here on the top over the stock. I want the guys on the left to go away first. Alright. 
Yeah, it's like they know that we're here. They discharge their weapons. You think you think someone would hear that, right? Didn't lose my touch. Just lost a freaking mother. Didn't. Gotta make this off quick. What the fuck? That wasn't good work. I shot at that guy. Too much light on that right, on that left flank. Gonna sneak right. God, I could have sworn I hit that guy like multiple times. Thankfully, my teammates just waited for about five minutes before they shot him. I guess there's no one outside to notice me. We're clear. Nice reflexes. Move inside. Nice reflexes. Contact. Shot him in the face. Back on that door. Let's ask him a question. Oh shit. I didn't last long. We got a back Probably can't hit shit anymore. Yeah, hit that guy in the head. He just doesn't care. Yeah, that guy just doesn't give a shit. I just thought it doesn't want to die. Stay on the trigger. I don't want to shoot that light.
stay with you. What about me? I'm making some. I'm making some leeway with this flank here. More like twelve. Guys, dr guys on drugs or something? Shit. Oh, what the? God damn it. Yeah, guys snuck off on the left. That was me completely dicking around. Like, I, I wasn't taking cover like I should. <laughs> Shut it down! Okay. Who put that on automatic? Damn, they hit hard. <laughs> I'm just watching my bolt release magically fly open. Click. God, they got a lot of rushing terrorists. Could have sworn they are Russian. Help. Back change, cover me. Clear, more secure. These fuckers are getting ready to leave. Nothing down here but bodies. Roger, Chick. Keep looking. The player is here. Buddha, we got a door. Getting ready. Oh, you don't have suppressors on on your on your muzzles anymore. I guess you're special. I don't know why he racks a shotgun for the first shot. Because it it clears the chamber. Stay with you. Who's carrying the bot? I kind of feel bad for the guy that was lugging it. So this is going to be a forced equalizer? I don't know about that. I mean, this thing is moving pretty slow. <laughs> I hit him with a 40 mic mic. I gotta say, all these enemies I've just killed, I'm pretty certain that I could have, you know, ran through here and shot myself, because you guys are fairly bad at that.
I hope I don't have to move my happy ass away from the back. Oh, nice snow all the way over here. No more robot. That don't matter. The cleric's here. We're not leaving without him. Vehicle. Oh damn, that guy really wanted my ass. Oh shit. I tried beating him down. I really did. But uh the guy just got to me. <laughs> like he just flat out ran up to my ass and beat me down. They get really aggressive towards the end of the game. Sounds like we're losing time. That don't matter. The cleric's here. We're not leaving without him. Oh, shit, dude. This guy's supposed to be on opium or something, I swear. <laughs> I just killed did we just trade kills because it said mount the MMG as I died so I'm assuming I just trade killed with a with a bot I'll save my grenade for that guy seeing as the grenade I used here didn't really do much Of course that guy didn't get killed by two grenades. Not much of a gate, just saying.
Charlie. Don't throw your shit at me. Ow, so showing me out. There you are. Dick. Let him burn. Can't let the target get away. Yellow one bites the dust. No rest for the weary. For mother. For mother. And for rabbit. Oh yeah, rabbit. Doctor! Rabbit was was a, a playable character in the last Medal of Honor. He died. Yeah, he's definitely not gonna... We're not gonna get him alive. I like how my foregrip is, like, screwed up. <laughs> I'm like, you're not gonna hit that detonator, dude. You are not gonna hit that detonator. Oh, jeez. Yeah, mother and rabbit. Was the cleric directly related to the to rabbit's death? I. Are are. I mean, not to not to lessen the deaths here, just saying. Are you just putting a face to the death of another fallen comrade? I mean, best way to fold the flag right there. America, land of the free and the home of the brave. So wait, they're seals. Shouldn't they be uh, sticking their globe and anchor on the... Yep. I wonder how much it costs. Like an entire seal squadron doing that on the side of a casket. And then they got to get new ones. Shit, we get to see his eyes. Never thought I'd see the day we'd see Dusty's eyes. That thing is just littered. Sorry, did I say globe and anchor? That's a marine thing. My bad. I might have said that. It's a uh, trident. Trident anchors. Not to offend real seals out there.
Real life superheroes exist. They walk among us every day, ready to defend our great nation and its citizens, and no one noticed. They are husbands, fathers, brothers, and sons capable of staring death in the face and still come home to rock their newborn infant to sleep in the same day. That'd be hell logistics, just saying. This kind of warrior cannot be manufactured or purchased. They are born into this life, blessed with a higher sense of purpose and the understanding of exactly what fate they may hold. We choose to share this life with them because we would rather love an extraordinary man for a brief moment than spend a lifetime with a man far more ordinary. Way to make normal men feel. You can never be prepared for certain events in life. They change you and their consequences turn your world upside down. Meeting your husband's casket as he makes his final journey home. The prospect of raising your children alone. Living the rest of the days without the one person that loved you unconditionally and will never let you down. In truth, these men may never let anyone down which is why they are no longer here today. These amazing warriors choose to spend their brief, amazing lives with us. We raise their children, we honor and remember them. We live in the present and we look to the future. They knew we would have the strength to carry on in the face of tragedy and become stronger, more amazing versions of ourselves. They knew we would never be defined by their passing, but inspired by their memory to live more fully and to make each moment we are given count. German authorities have stated the men, all between the ages of 18 and 35, were in the country on student visas. This is the seventh arrest in as many days. Sources are saying they're the result of battlefield intelligence gathered very recently. While details are being kept under wraps, we can verify that joint efforts between the military and the intelligence Take me down to the river bend. And that's Medal of Honor Warfighter. I gotta admit, I really like how they uh they work with Lincoln Park. Make good good, good soundtrack. Uh what do you got? Here uh Greed Lies Misery, I think is the song that they made. Here Lies Misery, Great Greed Lies Misery. I don't know. But yeah, that's uh <clears throat> excuse me. Medal of Honor Warfighter. Made with the... Uh, made in close conjunction with uh, tier one operators, military advisors, and people that cared to get it right. It's great small attention to detail, but uh, you know, cliched action plot. Weapons, you know, in uh, global hot spots, places that America ain't supposed to be in, and places where America always is in, apparently, in this last decade. But um, yeah, the geopolitical scale and politics aside, it's it's it was a fun game. I mean, yeah, it's it's your average first person shooter when it comes down to it, especially the story. I mean, the only real the only real shooter I feel that had innovation was <laughs> when Call of Duty Four just was a first game that broke out of the uh, World War Two genre. That was quite a thing, quite a long time ago, and not many Call of Duties have lived up to that ever since. Actually, kind of like Advanced Warfare. I like that one. That one was really different. Like, imagine if you gave crack to the Call of Duty formula. That that that's what it was, because it's fucking crazy. It's fast paced, and it's just hard hard to wrap your head around half the time when you're playing multiplayer and single player when you're flying around beating the shit out of people and fighting Kevin Spacey. You know, from House of Cards. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Metal Honor War Fighter. I was willing to play it again. It was a good game. Now, uh, I guess I guess that's that. I won't be playing the other Medal of Honor's channel, but I might go back and play the other Call of Duties, though. Those those are fun those are fun campaigns, I have to say. So, um, Castle Glass by Lincoln Park. That's what this is. Okay, I I, I just heard that. Uh, I mean, part in the course. Anyway, until next time. Um, this is Medal of Honor with Crazy Ron, and uh, see you then, or see you later. Peace out. <laughs>